What's up everybody, Silver here with another Halo Wars 2 Achievement Guide. This time we are doing the final mission in Awakening the Nightmare, the uh, DLC. The final mission in all of the uh, the campaign levels so far. The 19th, the 5th out of 5 for Awakening the Nightmare in particular. Uh, but let's start this mission off. I have started this up. Um, you start out with a bunch of units. I pull my choppers away and have them gather resources around the base here. Just blowing up all the uh, power and uh, supply crates. And then in the front, I don't really direct them too much. Occasionally, I'll use uh, Vortis to use his uh, incendiary gel. So I'm going to do that over here. Just use the Y ability on the ground there. And then I just have him kind of run around the area to spread that gel out. And uh, that helps us out. But otherwise, I don't really do much with the uh, with directing the forces up there. I just kind of let them hang out on their own and destroy all the people coming at us. And then I build up my base. I build uh, some extractors and harvesters. So I'll have a total of three extractors and two harvesters uh, when all is said and done for this point in the mission. And uh, you can see I'm running my choppers around the map. I do have three, or no, four skulls on to help me out. I have on Pain Train, Bountiful Harvest, Emperor, and Sugar Cookies. So throw those on. Uh, this mission is pretty easy, actually, uh, with the strat. Um, obviously, I aim to make all the missions easy, but this one in particular is pretty, uh, pretty easy. We are going to ultimately just build a ton of banshees and just fly those guys around the map uh, for the majority of the mission. But before we can do that, we're going to build up our base here. You can see I made a shield generator on one of my turret plots. And I'm going to build three uh, turrets on the other remaining three turret plots. And eventually I'm going to upgrade them. I'm just going to kind of spread it out. I'm going to have a uh, anti-vehicle, anti-infantry, and anti-air. So I'll, I'll have one of each uh, turret. And then the shield generator, of course. So we're approaching the end of the uh, the waves of enemies coming at us here. I really only have uh, Pavium and Vorridus alive at this point, plus my two choppers in the back. I'm um, just going to have them fly around the map. Um, but I'm ultimately just going to kill those guys because we're, we're done using them. And so I destroy my raid camp and build an apex so I could build air units because uh, we're going to build a bunch of banshees like I mentioned. And basically we're just going to sit here. Uh, there are no enemies that come at you so you have as much time as you need. At least in my experience, they've never come at me. Um, and I've sat here for a long time. So maybe they'll come after you after like an hour. But by that point, you should be pretty set. So really, we're just going to sit here and build as many uh, Banshees as possible. Which is 40. We're going to build 40. And uh, I throw my choppers up ahead there and they will get killed. So we have more uh, more space to build Banshees. And you can see I built a, uh, a War Council as well. So we're going to up upgrade everything in the War Council. We're going to upgrade everything in the Apex, so we're going to get to air level 3. Um, we're going to have the 40 Banshees, and we're going to have that uh, that specific upgrade for the Banshee research as well. I forget what it's called. And then in the War Council here, we're just going to research everything. So we're going to research the uh, Fortify base to make our bases stronger and our turrets stronger. We're going to research the uh, the population increase and also the, uh, the upgrade to make training units faster. So... Uh, we're just going to sit here. I'm going to skip ahead because all I do is sit here for a bunch of uh, minutes, a series of minutes, and then uh, build up my Banshees and upgrade all those things I was talking about. All right, here we go. A giant fleet of Banshees. Let's fly them over here to the, where uh, this arrow is telling us to go. So we fly them over here. Um, the reason I'm using Banshees is because most of the enemies in this mission do not actually fire at Banshees. So there's a bunch of infection forms, and they cannot affect uh, Banshees. There's a bunch of tentacles that rise out of the ground, and they also do not affect Banshees. Uh, there's a bunch of vehicles like Wraiths and Marauders that have been infected, but those uh, are very weak against Banshees. Banshees are actually very powerful against those uh, air beats vehicles that's part of the rock, paper, scissor. Um, so basically, we're just going to overpower everything or just ignore everything. Um, so at this point, I took out that mini uh, flood base, as indicated, as we were told to do. And I guess we need to bring uh, these guys over here, or at least we got a visit over here with our leaders, because there was not, uh, like, the outline of a base showing me, like, hey, build a base here now for some reason. There we go. Now it's here. Um, but it wasn't there when I blew it up for some reason. But whatever. We'll bring Pavium and Vortis over here. I'm just going to leave them at the base so they can help protect the base. Um, if the base does blow up, the main base, it uh, doesn't matter. Um, I just like to keep it alive as much as possible without too much of a hassle um, just so uh, we could build up a ton of supplies and uh, power. So at this point you can see I have a ton of each and I'm not really going to need to use it much but obviously we want to build up as much as possible before uh, our base inevitably 
blows up. I shouldn't say inevitably. Because we could save it, but I just... It, who cares? We don't care. Um, so I had uh, Vortis capture that uh, power generator, or that power node there. And uh, we're just going to build our base. Every time you build a mini base, automatically a mega turret is uh, built with it. And uh, you could use the other plot to uh, build whatever you want. I like to build more supply pads. And obviously there's two turret uh, plots. You want to use those as well to defend your uh, your mini base there. So then we go to the middle and there's this giant gross thing here. We got to take care of that. That is some serious acne, bro. Um, there's talk about Dr. Pimple Popper. Uh, free plug there for that uh, YouTube channel. Pretty gross, uh, but also pretty uh, addictive to watch. But uh, anyway... Let's get back to this. Let's get back to this gross nonsense. Um, so yeah, the banshees are very good. I don't know. Why, I don't know why the banshees went over there. Get over here. Rustle up some banshees, and then bring them back. They shouldn't. I don't know why they went over there. Uh, for the leader powers, the leader points. I should point out that I like to upgrade my Atriox's bulwark, and then I heal my banshees periodically, even though they don't really take that much damage. Um, and I like to then proceed to upgrade my uh, cataclysm and the other thing that pairs with it, I forget what it's called, but you know. But then, ultimately, I want to get this Lich. Because this Lich is baller. I don't really use the uh, the Cataclysm or uh, the beam that f flies down and spreads a bunch of incendiary gel. Um, I do upgrade it all the way eventually, but uh, the Lich is where it's at. It lasts a really long time. It respawns pretty quickly, actually. It recharges pretty quickly um, with the Emperor Skull. So, uh, just use that. Just deploy that. I don't really need to use it. I just throw it down uh, during every phase, every side. There's four sides to this big thing in the middle. And we got to take down the big uh, kind of hard, hardened uh, side of it. And then that exposes kind of like the grosser pods in the middle of it, uh, the center of the structure. We blow that up, then it kind of falls down into the hole and opens up the uh, it, like the top of its head, I guess you could say. And you could shoot down into that and uh, slowly kill it over time. So we got to do that four times. And uh, we could go over here. And every time you take down one of the sides, you got to build another mini base with a mega turret on it. So that's what we're doing over here. And uh, we could really fly around the map very quickly uh, with only banshees because they don't care about hills or uh, cliffs or anything. They just fly right over them. Or units. They don't get caught up on uh, any units on the ground or anything. Look at all those infection forms ignoring me. Called in another Lich. It respawned pretty quickly. See, I told you. Here we go. Um, you do want to speed things up. You do want to uh, have the Banshees shoot at the actual, you know, big thing in the middle. So occasionally I'll just go and, like, hit X on the uh, the side of the guy there. The big, big guy. Because otherwise they get distracted by the infection forms, uh, which is fine. It's, uh, it's alright to kill the other enemy units. Um, it just takes a little bit longer if you let them kind of sit there passively and don't... Uh, direct them where to shoot but you can see these tentacles are it's very weird I think they might be attacking the lich because uh, when I just have the banshees near the tentacles they don't the tentacles just kinda sit there and don't do anything so I don't know if they're actually attacking the banshees or not but I mean they're not doing a great job if they are so again he fell into his hole we have destroyed two sides now we are going to direct them to shoot in the middle and now he's starting to move again and close up his hole and I went back here I could see my base is under attack looks like uh, Vortis and Pavium are doing a decent job here and uh, we're gonna go fly the Banshees over to this point on the mini-map you can see uh, where all the colonies are for the flood good job good job guys over here alright and I uh, just decided to help out Vortis a little bit. Why not? Not really that useful. But alright. Whatever. We look at our supplies and power. We don't really care if that base survives at this point. So we are going to build this base, which we did. We have another mega turret. And we are going to build those turrets up as well. And we are going to move over to side number three. It doesn't matter what order you do it in. Um, but uh, I just this is the order I do it in. Threw down another lich. Why not? Then uh, the Banshees direct them to shoot the side again. It's pretty uh, pretty straightforward here. So uh, occasionally, like, a Banshee will fall in battle or something, but for the most part, uh, especially if you keep using Atriox's Bulwark whenever you kind of come over here and have the opportunity to kind of have them in a cluster, which is all the time, really. It gives them invulnerability for a short time and also heals them. 
So, uh, you know, we're, uh, we're going at it here. Three out of four sides done, and we are going to fly over to the final uh, little mini base of Flood, which, thankfully, the uh, the Flood bases don't actually attack you or anything. They just sit there and take it. It reminds me of, like, a really gross, like, uh, series of eggs. Like, if you threw a bunch of eggs into, like, a bowl and just threw it in the microwave, that's what those colony, uh, Flood colonies remind me of. You see a bunch of, it has a bunch of, like, the yellow domes on it, like the uh, egg yolks or something. Sorry for ruining your breakfast, but uh, that's just, uh, that's what I see. I call it like I see it. So we're building up the base. Uh, our base is taking some damage because uh, we're not doing a great job of protecting it from infection forms, apparently. Really just because they're uh, they're ignoring the banshees up top, so they just, like, dive straight at the base. I could have waited to uh, build that mini base, but that's all right. It's fine. It's just a little weak. Vortis and Pavium over here, holding down the fort. They're, uh, they're gonna fail eventually. You'll see. And it's totally fine. The, uh, you don't fail a mission or anything for losing your base, so don't worry about that, especially when you have tons of supply and ammo. Or, supply and ammo. Tons of supplies and power at this point, as you can see I do. And the only reason you really need that is to build, like, the occasional Banshee when it goes down, uh, which you could throw down an Apex on one of your, uh, your mini-bases. And also, uh, in case you need to use leader powers, because those cost uh, currency, too. So we've taken on the fourth wall. We're now staring directly into the camera. And we're going to go over here. This is a new area of the map that has opened up now that we have uh, destroyed all four sides of that guy, that big flood guy. We're going to fly over here. You can see it's like a, whatever it's called. It's a forerunner structure where we use, uh, we use it to call in retrievers. Here he is. Look at this guy. What a handsome gent. So we're going to call him in. You actually don't need to do anything. You just go over there and clear that off, and he'll be called in automatically. And uh, we're going to move over here now. Apparently, we need the retriever to finish off the job. So we have a bunch of banshees. We have this lich. Oh, no, we don't. He just left. And uh, we are going to build another mini base because apparently the uh, one of our four has blown up. And you do actually need all four active, uh, or else it won't uh, queue the next uh, section because the, uh, the mega turrets are actually needed to continue to damage the, uh, the big uh, flood guy in the center here. So as you build one, you need that one to remain so you could uh, attack it. If you build a second one, you need the second one, and then three and four. So for the end here, we need all four actually intact and uh, active here. So built that, uh, that one up, got all four active again, and now this guy is going down. I like to use that uh, leader power on him little uh, laser show here and he goes down very quickly that's unnecessary obviously we have a ton of firepower with our lich and banshees and all our other leader powers but hey why not and that is it guys congratulations you have beaten all of the missions on legendary and now we get a sexy cutscene here so thanks for watching guys click like and subscribe leave a comment follow me on twitter at halo completion and on twitch and mixer at silver scorpion 4 and check out my podcast called halo conversationalists and i'll see you guys later for more halo achievements